Hey guys, Jason here and I am back with another beer review and YouTube video. I don't know if you can see behind me here, but it's absolutely disgusting outside. It's gonna be maybe mid thirties and uh, it's hailing and raining. I don't know if you can tell uh, and it's starting to turn into snow too, but uh, it's gross. And on a gross cold day, uh, my favorite kind of beer to drink is a stout. And today I'm gonna be doing Treehouse's Catharsis. So come on and join me and uh, watch me crack this beauty open and give it a review. So seconds after I recorded outside, it literally downpoured and I had to run inside to continue this review. I was hoping to do the backdrop of outside, but it was cold, downpouring, and I didn't want to get my uh, phone and camera all wet. So we're gonna continue in here. And I did call this a stout outside and I was actually incorrect. This is an American porter, so my mistake. And it's got chocolate, caramel malts, and exhibits characteristics of cocoa powder and fudge. I have had this beer before. Um, it's actually pretty underrated for treehouse standards. I've never really seen anybody talk about this one, but I love it. And I was pretty excited when I went there a week or two ago that they had it in stock. So I did get a four pack of this. I'm gonna crack one right now and I'll let you know what I think. And also, I don't know if I've done this in prior reviews, Treehouse does some pretty cool things in the bottom of their can. I'm gonna show you here in the camera. They actually write a little message under each can of uh, what's just going on. So this is canned on 10 to 20, but under, uh, above that, they have a cool message. And uh, I don't know if you can see here in the camera, I'm hoping it zooms and you can, but it says, sometimes I wanna scream. That's exactly how I feel about 2020. But let's give this a crack and see how she smells. So I have the camera high today. Uh, my wife is not videoing me, so I don't know if you can see this or not. But if not, I am gonna show you into the camera too. And it's kind of pouring out like a dark uh, Coca-Cola right now. And I don't know if you can see it fizzing here. How does it smell? I'll let you guys go first. Okay, let me try. It smells like cocoa powder. It smells like a mixture of cola and cocoa powder. And I'm excited to try it, so cheers. Let me finish swallowing first. I really, really love this beer. I don't know if you could catch that before, before I uh, cracked it open, but I got a ton of Baker's chocolate as soon as it hits my palate. It feels like somebody's cooking fresh brownies in the oven. Not only am I getting that in the sense of smell with the cocoa powder, but in my palate too. I'm getting the uh, good Baker's chocolate. What I mean by Baker's chocolate is it's really dark chocolate. You don't get as much sugar in that. It almost tastes like a bitter candy bar, maybe 70 to 80%, but it's awesome. I give another sip. It's kind of like a motor oil black too. I don't know if you can see that. It's really, really, really dark. Uh, hopefully the light's capturing that, but yeah. It's a good beer and it's time for a review. And I would say for this one, uh, I was gonna put it in the stout category, but it's an American Porter. So I guess for an American Porter, let me have one more sip. It's a little thin. It's good. I'm gonna go, and this, this score might surprise you with how much I was hyping this up, but I'm gonna go 81 out of 100 for this one. Uh, there are better porters and there are better stouts, but if you just want something that's, you know, continually good and will, you know, tire through when you can finish the glass, this is what I like to go to. Um, every batch I've had tastes exactly the same with a lot of beers I get. Sometimes batch to batch inconsistency can throw the beer off, but that's just not what I'm getting here. As always, if you like these little quirky reviews that I do, please hit that like button right below. I really do appreciate it. And if you really like these reviews and me, please hit subscribe too. Share with all your friends, spread the word. I'm trying to grow and your support means a lot to me. You know, I have actually gotten a lot of subscribers this year and I'm grateful and appreciative to all of you. So keep those subscriptions coming and uh, look forward to more content from me in the future. Cheers. And this is two hours after the beer review. Let it snow.